thought for the day. Failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of it. Welcome to 7 Minutes for Yourself. I'm Christina Ina, and I'm so glad you've joined me for what I believe will be 7 of the most enriching minutes of your day. Let's take this time to reconnect with ourselves and improve our well-being. In today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself, we're exploring a practical and effective technique that can empower us to conquer adversity and emerge stronger than ever. Have a listen. We all experience failure and setbacks at some point in our lives, and when it happens, it can be difficult to find the silver lining. But there are often opportunities to be found in these moments of adversity. Failing better refers to the idea of learning from mistakes and using those lessons to make future success more likely. It is a thought process of analyzing the initial attempt and refining it with the overall intent of future success. Validate your findings with hard facts to ensure that the future approach incorporates improvements built on data and evidence. Doing so will better equip you with the necessary tools needed to reach your ultimate goal, as opposed to relying solely on assumptions. Failing better is essential for long-term success and can be used in any type of activity, from dominating a boardroom meeting to mastering a new hobby. It involves understanding why something failed, looking for patterns in mistakes, and making changes to increase the chances of success in the future. In other words, to fail better, it is necessary to learn your lessons from the failure. By determining what did not work, it is possible to create new strategies and plans to ensure a better chance of success. Additionally, by being willing to accept mistakes and grow from them, it can open up new avenues for progress. Ultimately, failing better means using knowledge from past failures to improve future outcomes. It also involves having a growth mindset, believing that failure doesn't define you and that you can use it to become stronger and better. To fail better involves developing a growth mindset and re-evaluating your assumptions. Failure should not define us, but rather empower us to strive towards our goals with greater resilience and dedication. Reevaluating our assumptions in the face of failure can provide critical insights and help us to move forward in a more meaningful way. Striving for success requires us to embrace failure, accept it as part of our journey, and use it to become stronger and better. Failure can provide valuable insight and feedback that can help improve our skills and abilities. To fail better, it's important to not be scared of failure and to embrace it for the learning opportunity it presents. By view failure as an integral part of the process, you can use it to help you identify errors quickly and respond to them in a timely manner. If you take an iterative approach, allowing yourself to fail fast and learn from those failures, you can refine your approach and ultimately reach success more quickly. It is important to look beyond the immediate disappointment of failure and focus on the lessons that it can teach us. By reflecting on what went wrong and thinking about how to avoid it in the future, failure can be used to inform and improve our decisions. Failing can be a valuable learning experience that helps us to grow and ultimately leads us to success. Learning from our mistakes is an essential part of failure, as it is how we become wiser and better equipped to succeed. If we embrace failing better, it can be turned into a positive experience that allows us to progress towards our goals. By viewing it as a learning opportunity, we can create an environment where experimentation and creativity are encouraged meanwhile. By recognizing the importance of failing better, businesses can create a culture of experimentation and innovation. Validate your findings with hard facts, and you will be able to increase your chances of success by learning from failures and growing from them. With this kind of attitude, it is no longer something to be feared. Instead, it is just one more step in the journey that leads to inevitable success. Developing a comprehensive action plan is key to making meaningful progress and avoiding failure. Gather feedback from stakeholders, assess any potential risks, and plan for contingencies to ensure that you have a roadmap that will position you to make the most of any opportunity. By preparing for potential pitfalls, you can use these moments as learning experiences and push yourself to fail better on your next attempt. With this approach, failure can become a stepping stone towards success. Make sure your plan is realistic and achievable, with milestones and specific goals you can track. 
Validate your findings with hard facts so that if you fail, you can use the data to analyze what went wrong and improve for your next attempt. By having a clear plan and assessing the data provided, you can set yourself up for success and be prepared if failure does occur. With this approach, success may not always come easy, but it serves as an opportunity to learn and grow, allowing you to fail better each time. You should also incorporate feedback from mentors or peers to ensure you are on the right track and make necessary adjustments as needed, besides incorporating feedback from mentors or peers. It is also important to think outside the box when it comes to trying and failing better. Approach each task with a fresh perspective and consider different angles that could work in your favor. Embrace the concept of experimentation as necessary and develop resilience in the face of failure as this is part of the learning process. This will allow you to stay focused on finding a solution that leads to success. Understanding the sources of our mental blocks and reframing them in a more empowering way can help us to get back in the right mindset for achieving success. Developing self-awareness and learning how to manage our emotions can help us to move past our mental blocks and stay focused on our goals. Thinking outside the box and finding creative solutions is a great way to help us on our path to success. Approaching our goals with a sense of resilience and determination means that we are able to learn from our mistakes, find better solutions, and ultimately be successful. Failing better means that we can take each setback or failure as an opportunity to improve, giving us the strength and confidence to overcome any challenge. That concludes today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. Today and every day with your kiddo is a gift. Enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.